This is Hollywood, brought to you in this, our third year anniversary month by PTB Screen of Australia, worldwide at ptbscreen.com au and on Facebook, where you'll find promotions and information which reinvent the appeal of cinema going whilst providing a space for current release information and archive research related to the past and present of the cinema. Matthias Bohmbal with you. Broad Green Pictures offers The Infiltrator, a gripping drama set during the Reagan presidency, where brave actions of a special U.S. Customs infiltrator, Bob Mazur, are fascinating as he works his way into the very top echelon of the Colombian drug lords of the Medellin cartel through a most clever approach. Instead of chasing the drugs, Mazur follows the money. He offers himself as a fictitious financier that will offer the drug lords an avenue to launder their money through his many businesses, and with tenacity and cleverness, he works his way into the heart of the core group of the most wanted men in the entire world. Writer Ellen Sue Brown has crafted an excellent screenplay based on the book, The Real Story of These Actual historical events written by Mazur himself, The Infiltrator, My Secret Life Inside the Dirty Banks Behind Pablo Escobar's Medellin Cartel. Brown's screenplay adds tension via the device of weaving the actions of Mazur's undercover investigation with his home life, seemingly normal in contrast with the real-life threatening risks in which he is always involved. Brian Cranston plays the multifaceted Mazur in a fantastic performance, adding to the laurels this capable and brilliant actor garners with each new screen portrayal. He's supported by a fine cast, including Benjamin Bratt, Amy Ryan, John Leguizamo, and in a delightful dash of joy, Olympia Dukakis playing Mazur's Aunt Vicky. Let's take a look inside this production with actor Brian Cranston and the real Robert Mazur. Even though the movie is based on a true story, Bob Mazur is someone that most people don't know. If they know the man by his face, they probably know him with a different last name. You think I want to count 40 grand in ones, Mangione? Robert Musella, pleasure to meet you. Mazur, not so fast. I've been Robert Mangione, I've been Robert Musella, I've been Robert Baldessari, I've been all kinds of different people in my undercover world. There's basically three distinctive characters in one. His normal self, Bob Mazur, who is really very calm and committed family man to his two children and his wife and lives a very ordinary middle-class existence. And then there's the characters that he needs to take on. My friends, welcome to the United States. There's a lot to be learned about how to set up an uncover identity. You want that character that you build to have as many traits that I have Hey, hey, look at this. Do the math. I'd be 77 years old. The less amount of lies that I have to tell, the least likely it is that I'm going to wind up tripping myself up. Here we go. Bob Mosella. Dates are perfect. He usually tries to stay with Bob, because in a pinch, if someone yells out, Bob. Mr. Bob. Bob. Mr. Bob. You naturally react, and so he wants to be able to maintain that. Mangione was more of a sad, old street level crook. What we need is a new currency. What? Musella, he is a more flamboyant businessman who cover is that he works for the mob. Gentlemen, I sincerely apologize. Family business got in the way. He has to actually do the money laundering for the Medellin cartel. So, Mr. Musella, what can you do for me? There's Bob Mazur, the cop who's looking for the evidence, who's acting as Bob Musella. But there is a role that I have to play as a friend, as a confidant. It's not an easy thing to do. And sometimes it's not an easy thing to live with after the fact either. It's like you get close to people. What I did do is I caused them to drop their guard and let me into their lives so that I could become the government's eyes and ears inside their criminal enterprises. <laughs> The character is phenomenal. He's a heroic guy. Take the tapes. And I just like the idea that there was a man who was committed to trying to improve his country, his society. And in order to do that, he had to become very good friends with some very bad people. That was Don Chepe. More importantly, the other man is Pablo Escobar. It's a fun ride. One wrong word. Here we go. One slip. You 
my business, nothing good ever comes in the absence of trust. This movie has violent moments, to be sure, not something I savor in the movies, yet it is totally in keeping with the movie's story and does not appear just for the sake of violence. The fact that this story and movie takes on the famous drug cartel by following the money and not the drugs themselves is a fascinating and refreshing approach to these type of movies, given more validity as a dramatization of real events. The cinematography by Joshua Rice is well executed and visually rich, in this scene, U.S. Customs Management is unable to send more money through to assist the investigation, but Mazur is in too close to escape alive. Volcano says Don Chepe's $10 million is frozen, which is actually Pablo Escobar's money, and he doesn't give a rat's ass that our government did it. No, he well, wants his money, and it's not going to be over until he gets it. There's a Senate investigation into well, Noriega. You're not getting money. We went through Panama. Frozen is frozen. Accept it. Mark, it's f***ing up our operation. We need you to fix this for us. How am I going to fix this? You want me to call Senator Kerry? Hey, John, could you drop your investigation that the president has sanctioned? Because my friend Bob's getting really upset. Reagan wants Noriega's ass. Are you listening to me? Hey, hey, you know what Alcaino said? That's not an answer that keeps you alive, my friend. Okay? Hey, what did he say that for? No, wait a second. Hold on. Did he threaten you? No. Did he put your neck in the news? Yeah, and he's squeezing. No, he didn't. Roberto didn't say that. He wouldn't say that. It's Escobar. No, wait a second. Bob, are you in danger from Pablo Escobar if his money doesn't come through? In that scene with Cranston were actors Jason Isaacs as Mark Joukowsky, John Leguizamo, and actress Amy Ryan. Overall, this is a gripping excellent production with Cranston at the top of his form, an actor that is always fun to watch and easy to like, even when his portrayals offer every type of character that may be found in the annals of drama. Ideal for adults, not for children. The movie was directed by Brad Furman. The Motion Picture Association of America has given this an R rating. This is your pal, Matthias Bombal. Bidding you a fond farewell.